got Melvin Gordon right here on my notes. What should we do with Melvin Gordon? What should the Chargers do with Melvin Gordon? Now, I believe, as a Chargers fan, you got to pay this man. Pay him. Not everything, honestly, but you got to pay him. Because, let's look at it. They have Austin Eckler, who's a great running back. You have Justin Jackson, who's also a great running back. You have T.J. Watt as fullback. Not T.J. Watt, my bad. Derek Watt. Other Watt brother on the Steelers. Derek Watt. Still a great... Well, he's a fullback. Great fullback, great, blo great blocking, doing all that stuff. Great at receiving, too. But let's be honest, Melvin Gordon is far better than, both, than Austin Eckler, Justin Jackson, and Derek Watt at his job. He's better. He's an elite running back. He is in that conversation. He is an elite running back. Not one of the best. He's not Le'Veon on Bell, David Johnson, uh, or Todd Gurley. That's the one I was forgetting. He's not like that. He's not that top three. But he's elite. He is elite, no doubt about it. And he's still on his rookie contract, and this is his last year, which is why there's so much turmoil over it and a lot of conversation over it. Because now there's news that... He's probably going to hold out for some games if he doesn't get a new contract. For me as a Chargers fan, I need him in if we're going to win the Super Bowl. Because the Chargers are not going to win the Super Bowl or even the division title if he does not start off the season. He's got he's, he's to start the season. For me, this comes, this comes over team success over business. Because guess what? If you have him on that roster, you go to the Super Bowl. You, do, you, win, you win the division, you get home field advantage, you will have fans packed, and at that point you don't have to worry about, you know, his contract costs or uh, all that stuff. Now, I understand that there's some injury concerns over Melvin Gordon, some age concerns and all that stuff, but he's not, like Ezekiel Elliott, who I like said before, probably, maybe, you gotta consider trading, even though the Cowboys will pay him, because to cover up Dak's problems and failures, but in this case, Melvin Gordon doesn't have any problems off the field, on the field, he's a monster, he's great, he's not obviously at the same level as Ezekiel Elliott, but he's pretty good, still on the rookie contract, but you still gotta pay him if you want, if you want to get to the Super Bowl, because you still got a good quarterback in Philip Rivers, and the quarterback in my MVP topic discussions, you need him in order to win. Now the question is, how much do you pay him? Obviously you shouldn't pay him as much as Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, or even David Johnson. Who are young players aside from uh, David Johnson and, and uh, Le'Veon Bell, but they're making over four, four years or three years. In the case of Todd Gurley, in the case of Todd Gurley and Le'Veon Bell, over four years making over fifty mil. In the case of David Johnson, three years, thirty nine mil, thirteen mil a year, and it averages out. Now, obviously, I don't think that Melvin Gordon should make as much as those three, but he should make more than the fourth highest earning running back. In Devontae Freeman, who is making five over five years, forty one point two five million dollars, averaging out to eight point two five. So he shouldn't average around eight point two five million dollars a year, all up to thirteen million dollars a year, which is where uh, David Johnson is, and that's because of his injury concerns, just like Melvin Gordon. Now Mel Melvin Gordon shouldn't get somewhere around there, mainly because of mainly because of his injury concerns, also because of his age. You don't want to have a thirty year old or something like that running back still on your team with a whole lot of money. Because at that point, they've gone through a whole lot, we're in terror, you still don't want that a lot of injury, all that stuff. So, this is what I believe that he should get. Four years, $44 million. $44 million over four years, which averages out to $11 million per year. And I believe that he should get, of those $44 million, $25 million guaranteed. Guaranteed. That, that, that's my, that's my prediction. Um, or, or, or that's what I believe. Twenty-five million guaranteed over four years is what? I'm mean, gonna math this out. It's less than eight. It's around six point something. I can't do that off the top of my head. It's summer. It's been a long time since I've been to school. It's been a while. I'm sorry. I can't math like that fast right now. Um, but it's close to six. 0.5, there we go. 6.5 million dollars guaranteed per year. Which, which I believe is a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal, and I believe that Melvin Warren would be foolish not to take it. 